The purpose of doing cast is to let us use all of those adjuncts that we don't usually get to use. So we get to use fruits or we get to use, you know, things that you wouldn't generally may make the brewing process a lot harder, but it would be kind of fun to have in beer and it kind of gives us the opportunity to throw in some, you know, random ones and also do small batch, small batch tests and see, you know, what we really dig. Some of my favorites so far, uh, the most recent one that Rick Blankmeyer did with the Arrogant Bastard with toasted coconut and cocoa nibs. Uh, I thought it was really standout, really beautiful. The, the cocoa added a really nice creaminess to it. Uh, I've really enjoyed the levitation with chamomile. That had just such a really nice flavor. The, the roasted malts played you know, a little sweetness from the chamomile. I thought it was a really nice touch. And we just we do so many all the time. It's, it's hard to keep track of them all. I know we talk about how they went over here in the bistro. When, I have a, when we put a cask on a, on a Thursday night uh, for the Meet the Brewer, and we run out of a cask in an hour and a half, two hours, I, I know that we're having some success with the program. It's become very popular here in the Bistro. People line up for it. The cask I'm making is, it's our IPA, but it's dry hops with citra. And I also added lemon verbena, which is something that we added to our um, 16th anniversary IPA, um, along with mango. And the way I kind of came up with it is it just, you know, I, I kind of looked at the things that we had been doing and we have dry hopped our IPA with Citra before and we've used mango and other things and, you know, so I just kind of looked at what we had in the cabinet, uh, in the small batch cabinet, and um, I thought those things would really go well together, so I, I decided to give it a go and see what, see, see what people think of it. My cask was, it was based off of the theme of Mexican hot chocolate, so I took our black IPA, our sublimely self-righteous, and I added cinnamon sticks, cocoa nibs, chipotle peppers, um, cloves, vanilla beans, and macadamia nuts. And it just turned into a really rich, roasty, dessert-like beer. And I'm really happy with the way that it turned out.